Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am so excited to be here with today's video. I was asked to be a guest designer this month for the Scrap and For Less Flavor of the Month kit and in today's video I'm going to be unboxing that kit showing you some cards I created using it and telling you a little bit more about the kit in case you're interested. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Before I get started on today's unboxing, I do want to say a big thank you to Teresa for inviting me to be the guest designer this month. In today's video, I will be doing the unboxing and then I will be doing a project share of one card made with each of the collections that come in this month's kit. And then over the next couple weeks, I will be back with process videos for those cards. Before we open it up, I want to tell you about a couple things that you'll have access to if you become a subscriber. The first will be the printable that tells you the name of the current month's kit, which for July 2020 is in the tropics. It's a fun tropical theme. It includes all the ingredients and then also the banana split if you bought the extra. You will also be able to print off this card sketch. Each month they give you some ideas of how to use the goodies in the box. If you're interested in purchasing this kit, I will have the direct link to Scrapping for Less in my description box below. Once this video is live, so is the kit. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here. This month in the Scrapping for Less kit, we are playing with watercolors and wishing we were someplace tropical. I hope you enjoy these bright, watery, summery collections and all of the cool inspiration that the design team and myself, this month's guest designer, have to offer. Your shopping experience is made easier on the website. Make sure to check out the Scrapping for Less link in the description box below. And then make sure to visit the blog, which is also linked below, and enter the raffle copter for a giveaway. I kind of feel like it's Christmas in July here. It's like I have five or six little presents here to open up. That is so much fun. So I will tell you about each of the collections and give you a look at it. But before we get into this, let me tell you about the pricing of this kit. Now I received the double dip, which includes the cardstock, and I received part of the banana split. If you subscribe to the double dip, which is the four little collections and some cardstock, it is $25 a month plus shipping for subscribers. They do ask that you give a three month minimum commitment, but if you don't want to do that and there are any extra kits left, you can buy a one-off kit for $30 plus shipping. But I've heard that these sell out pretty quickly, so you might wanna go ahead and subscribe. Now, if you want to subscribe to the banana split, which is everything here, plus the extra goodies, that is $35 plus shipping a month for subscribers and $40 for a one-time kit. Let's go ahead and open these up. Collection number one is called Tropic Vibes. The paper, stamp, and the cute little die cut ephemera are all from Scrapping for Less and then you get some enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. Mine are this pretty flamingo pink, which will go perfect with these. One thing that I've noticed about the Scrapping for Less kits is how many times it comes with these exclusive stamp sets. And I think today I've actually gotten three new stamp sets. They're always cute and they go with the theme of the collections. This one has a toucan, a flamingo, and then some sentiments and a flower. I can't wait to ink these up. Here is a look at the paper. And guys, this is so unique. It is nice and thick and it's almost like it's a matte photo. It's got a real nice feel to it. All of these are double sided. So here's a look at the front. And here are the backs. 
I especially love the colors in these and this ombre one is so pretty. And then each collection also comes with an envelope so after you make your cards you can get it right in the mail. What a great idea. Here is a quick look at the card I created using collection number one. Collection number one is appropriately named Tropical Fruit. Look at all of these fun, fruity papers. They are also double-sided, and here in just a minute, I'll show you the backs of those. There's another stamp set with this collection. It has a couple pineapples and some lemons, and then to go with that, this first sentiment here says, when life gives you lemons, sell them and buy pineapples. That is so cute. You get some yellow twine to go with that. And then in my kit, I got some green enamel dots by Gina Marie Designs. And I am not sure if I've ever had enamel dots like this. They have like a matte texture. That is so unique. How fun. Let's go ahead and look at the back sides of the paper. Some great basics here. Awesome. I hope that you'll stop by next week to see how I made this card using collection number two. Collection number three makes me want to go to the beach. Between the beautiful watery papers and this ocean blue glitter that I received, and then look at this stamp set. It is a seascape. It is just gorgeous. It also came with some white enamel dots from Gina Marie Designs. And then let's take a look at the back of the papers. The backs are just as gorgeous as those fronts. So calming. I used one of the July sketches to create this slimline card using collection number three. Collection number four is called In the Tropics and these are just some nice bright basics. The papers in this collection, they have kind of a parchment look to them, so it's not just a solid color. I like how that was added. The stamp set has a cute little palm tree image and a sentiment that says, in need of vitamin C, but I think my favorite one has to be, tropic like it's hot. Love that, that is so fun. It also came with some flowers by Doris and then some sequins by Scrapping for Less. And inside here are tiny little like seashell sequins. Those are so neat. I have a lot of sequins, but I don't have any like that. For my fourth card, I used a clear card base and the stamp set from collection number four to create this clean and simple clear card. Here's a look at the cardstock I got. All of the colors are listed on the printable sheet that has the ingredients list and they will all coordinate very nicely with the collections. There are also two very nice white heavyweight pieces that will make great card bases. Now if this wasn't enough for you, we're not done yet. I did get part of the banana split so let's go ahead and take a look at that. This month's banana split has one more item that isn't shown here. It is the mod die set and it is by Scrapping for Less. I will pop a picture on the screen now so you can see what that will look like. What I did get are some watercolors to try out, some pretty blue and white sequins by Scrapping for Less, and then this pineapple stencil. It is going to be perfect for these cards. Isn't that so pretty? I've been trying to use stencils more, so this is perfect. I hope you enjoyed getting to see what all came in this month's Scrapping for Less card kit. I know that I had a great time unboxing it, and I cannot wait to come back over the next couple weeks and share with you how I made the cards that I gave you a little peek at today. Now don't forget to go check out the Scrapping for Less blog. It is linked below for lots more information and links. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.